guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira, and today's book that I will be reviewing is The Wish Boy. This book is by Molly Knox, and I will be telling you a little bit about herself. Molly Knox grew up in the forest of upstate New York, where she spent the first half of her childhood reading about fantastical adventure, and the second half acting them out with foam swords. At a live action role playing group, she graduated in 2014 from the Visual Arts, where she studied cartoon, cartooning and illustration. She now lives in Los Angeles, California. The Witch Boy is her middle grade graphic novel debut. You can visit Molly online at www.mollyoster.tag.com. I'll be reading you part of the back as well. Even magic has its rules, is what it says. Every, everyone in Aster's family is born with magic. Boys grow up to be shapeshifters, girls into witch, no exceptions. But Aster can't seem to get the hang of shapeshifting. Instead, he spends his time spying on the witchery lessons the girls are getting. But the only person he can share his growing life gift is with Charlie, a girl with an, the non-magic side of town. Then during a night of shape-shifting practice, one of the boys go missing. After Aster knows he can search for the boy with the witchcraft he's been secretly learning. Could he break his family's most important traditions? Save the day or ruin everything? I mean, I read the back after I read the book, so it made me just like, I wish I read the back first. Book is about Aster, let's just call him that, and his journey to becoming a witch. Now, you might think, hey, that's a normal thing. In this book, it's like a fantasy fiction. Well, actually, no, it's not normal for his family because the boys are shapeshifters. Like, and they fight the demons and save the day while the girls are witches. Now, that's the fan that's the home and family of the witches and shapeshifters. Now, Aster, he made a friend when he was practicing his witch magic. So, something he's not supposed to do. I will be showing you a few pictures. This is them um, when they're looking for the missing boy. And, um... This is them when Easter is attacked by the missing boy. Because, you know, they can shapeshift. Uh, maybe I can find a picture of the missing boy when he's normal. Because I'm not going to say his name because I don't really know his name. So his new name is the missing boy. So that's him right there when he is changed back and is normal. Right now he's really, really, really upset because then she left. And then he said I was too weak when I couldn't shift back and there was only one thing I could do to be strong, to kill. So he almost killed another boy, which is pretty horrible. And again, I still have this a five star. Um, I want to show a picture of his friend Charlie. Charlie is right there. And the other picture I will show, which is the last one, I promise. It's this, where she shows all the art. Like, like he's like the right hand bottom corner. That's Aster when she thought of him being a teenager. The left hand corner is the demon at first of what she thought. The top right corner is Aster himself. The middle is Charlie. The left right, the left um, top corner is his mom. And then in the middle right there, the one I haven't talked about is his dad. All in all, I really love this book because who doesn't love a graphic novel with quests? journeys, problems, and like pretty much everything you would ever want in that one small graphic novel.
So I feel like that's it for today. Well, I'll see y'all later. Bye.